Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective, okay? So that is any and all zodiac signs, okay? It does not matter, love. This is for everyone, all right? So we're going to be seeing what the messages are that Spirit has here for the collective, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Collective energy reading here. What is it that the collective needs to know, Spirit? Thank you. What is it that the collective needs to know? What is for you will always be for you. What is yours will always be yours. The thinking man is here. Okay. First chakra. So somebody's trying to get a plan together as to how they can stabilize themselves. Okay. You're trying to get something started for yourself. You have a plan. Okay. Something that you want to sign your name on the dotted line for or of. Okay. Let us see. Building up the courage for something, okay, to do something, to say something. Hmm. The money is going to come through right when you least expect it, okay? I feel like your faith is exactly what's getting you what it is that you're wanting, okay? Trusting your intuition when it comes to what steps to take, what to do, what not to do, all right? Once upon a time, things were not like that, okay? You didn't know what to do. You didn't have the first clue of what to do is what I'm hearing, all right? But you decided to lean not on your own understanding, but to lean on what spirit would like for you to do. What spirit feels is best. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. We have the fourth chakra here in reverse. The angel of love in reverse. Something could have happened with a relationship. Okay. A relationship could have been holding you back. A relationship could have been slowing you down in some way. Okay. Yeah. Accelerated motion here in reverse. Okay. Maybe this is something that someone is coming to the realization of. Okay, this has been coming out a lot, and I think it's because spirit has us in the energy of bringing in the new, okay, keeping ourselves in alignment in order to do so is very important. So if something or someone is throwing you off, spirit is going to highlight that, bring that to your awareness, okay, friends too, okay, not just relationships, so let us see. For the collective for any beginnings here yep okay so out with the old and with the new taking a leap of faith here towards something okay some of you possibly have a relationship that is entering okay but due to some things that have happened in your past where maybe you were slowed down by relationships and things like that you're just not trying to do that again not trying to make the same mistake so you're emotionally withdrawn from this situation here this love that's being offered this could be something completely new y'all is what i'm getting with this love begins caring connections in the upright but it's like you have your heart closed off you don't have time to be slowed down okay you just want to keep moving you just want to keep getting things accomplished keep getting things done yeah you don't want anything to stop you from getting your hopes and dreams fulfilled okay that's what i'm seeing here all right it's taking some real courage for you to uh stay firm in this because you might care about whoever this person is that's coming in with this love offer but you are really more so trying to focus on your new beginning here than anything else yeah third eye chakra is here so it's like it's not that you think whoever this new person is or what have you doesn't care about you but a lot of you are still attached to whatever happened in the past, whatever took place in the past. You really don't want to let whatever this new situation is, this new spiritual union in. Okay? That's how I'm seeing it here. Hmm. Someone may be trying to have a conversation with you soon, you know? to kind of ease your mind about where they stand or how they feel or mm, to put your mind at ease to let you know they're not like something or someone in your past memories of love this could be a past life relationship here that's entering your life that some of you are blocking out out of fear due to fear of uh having your heart broken okay you feel like having your heart broken would distract you from once again the things that you want to do the things that you want to accomplish we have the three of cups here in reverse okay so some of you in the past could have tried that love thing out could have found yourself in a third party situation okay decided to pause on that 
okay follows on all of the all things love focus on you okay um you like out with the old and with the new this is the new version of me you know <laughs> but i feel like some of you are holding yourselves back in that way okay like i said some sort of new contract coming in here okay with this uh contract card okay whether that be a soul contract possibly okay you really just don't want to be thrown off that's your overall thing here all right but let us see what spirit has to say about this y'all somebody or something in your past you're still holding on to that whether you realize it or not it's definitely slowing you down holding you back from receiving something here that spirit has for you okay now obviously that wouldn't be your intentions but that's kind of what's happening okay so let us see what it is that spirit has to say thank you spirit all right what are the messages here give us more in this full card the ace of cups see so like i said something coming in something being offered to you something that is stable something that you can trust somebody that you can build with all right but there's this energy here where like i said because of something that took place in the past and other relationships or in a previous relationship okay maybe in the one that you're exiting right now you get what i'm saying you are just not open to it you're not thinking about it you're not concerned with it you you're fine right now okay but i feel like um this is what's being spoken on right now so let us see with this eight of wands in reverse accelerated motion and four swords rest and rejuvenation in reverse what is this well we have two cards trying to fall out the palace of wands in reverse so fifth house here in the judgment in reverse so like i said it's six of cups again so some of you definitely have a past life relationship coming in or either this is something that comes in and out or when you know maybe once upon a time it was a third party situation there maybe you guys experience a third party situation in a different love relationship something along those lines that has you wanting to push this offer away close your heart off not be open to love not be open to what it is this spirit has here for you or anything you get what i'm saying You're just like no i'm good the judgment card in reverse is like we're not we're not getting the message from spirit we're not receiving it we're not utilizing our discernment wisely we're closing off our access to our pleasures or things that are pleasureful with the palace of wands in reverse mega fifth house energy here okay so page of pentacles i feel like it's time for us to start anew with that okay let bygones be bygones for some of you okay and also i'm hearing you know once again out with the old and with the new we can't treat whoever this new person is like they're the old person for those of you who this is a completely new individual and for those of you who this is the same person perhaps they've just grown maybe you know the end of a karmic cycle has approached whatever you would like to call it okay we have to look at these things in whichever way it is spirit is telling us because once again will a fortune in reverse so something here about not utilizing our discernment wisely with this contract okay somebody has to listen to the discernment here and choose wisely spirit is trying to tell you something all right so we have the spiritual union card we have the three of cups in the upright position okay somebody here could be trying to uh, friend zone like someone they have a a love contract with or something someone that's their destiny or that they're destined to be with because you don't really believe this person loves you but you guys are a match and i feel like both parties are doing the same so it's like this right hmm, this looks like twin flames because you guys are mirroring each other is what i'm getting there's a contract here but whatever took place in the past has one party acting weird now towards the situation where spirit is trying to get them to come into union or to fulfill this soul contract to stabilize it to bring it into the physical and it seems like one person is just not wanting to do that because of something that happened in the past or something they experienced in the past or something like that that threw them off and they just don't want that they don't want to get thrown off course they're very focused right now they just don't want anything to stop them from reaching their goals okay so that causes one person to feel dejected you get what i'm saying 
from whatever rejection they felt or whatever rejection they, you know, were uh, receiving, okay? So it's, it's really weird. It's really weird energy coming out here, but let us see, y'all. Let us keep going. It's material and spiritual prosperity, which is six of pentacles. We have the knight of cups. So like I said, something about a relationship, somebody wanting to come and offer you something, show you that something is equal, that they do care about you, that they will not break your heart, or that they can heal your broken heart, okay, or something like that. Yes, with the strength card. So somebody wants to show you that they can heal your broken heart, even if it's this the person that broke your heart. Wow. So for some of you, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting two different storylines. So for some of you, there's a whole new person coming in. You and this person, perfect match. You are closing your heart off to this person, to their love offer, because you just want to stay focused on what it is that you're doing, very much so focused on your back, keeping it together. That's it. Growing it. That's it. You know, Another bag, maybe another bag, but you're doing everything that you can to avoid love, right? And then this person is like, but I can I can mend your heart. I can heal you. You get what I'm saying? I can heal your heart. I can, you know, because my love is different. Then you have those people with the other storyline who you and this person are twin flames, are divine counterparts. Maybe there was a third party situation that took place here at some point in time that is causing both parties to look at the situation like, okay, there's there's something here with this Ace of Cups, whole new offer, whole new opportunity. However, you get what I'm saying? With the energy of the Six of Wands in reverse, is it possible that it is successful or can it be successful is that even possible shall i say okay so blocking it out okay let us see as i said mirroring very much so okay five pentacles tree of life so blocking out something that is like i said it's going it's only a matter of time you guys okay this is a past life relationship that is only a matter of time but somebody is blocking it out. So we have this rejoicing celebration, three of cups in reverse, two of cups in reverse. Like I said, once upon a time, this was what the situation was. But now spirit is saying, instead of that, let's let's heal it. Let's mend it. Let's work on this. We have a queen of pentacles energy here. All right. Page of swords. So somebody sees someone as who they're supposed to build with or something like that and they want to heal the situation okay all right let us see for the collective very interesting reading let us see spirit we have bliss trust and Arun, joy and light okay so if something brings you happiness, don't block it out. Use your discernment. Allow for yourself to heal or for a situation to be healed. Okay, yeah. So someone saw something. Someone had a vision. Someone had a dream. Someone something. Okay. They see something clearly now. Remember the first part was the thinking man. Okay. We have alignment. So like I said, it's only a matter of time before something happens, before something takes place. There's a transformation, a change, a death, a rebirth. Okay. Someone has manifested this. But like I said, they just feel like they could do much more on their own with this solo magic revolution. All right. So like I said, something's certainly about to change. All right. For the better. All right, Hermetic, create. Um, two people, like I said, soul contract, here to do something. Create multiple things, I'm sure. We have, yeah, creation, okay, manifest here. Joy and light, or rune, again, universal oneness, transcend. Situation is definitely about to transcend, okay. We have vision, once again, I feel like somebody had a vision of something. All right, hood, love, community, all right. We have nurture here and balance. So it's only a matter of time. All of the cards are saying the same things. 
okay? Very interesting reading, lots of twists and turns. Ultimately, what we see here is somebody might be trying to run from something that they ultimately manifested. And the reason they're trying to run from it is because they're viewing it as a distraction or something that is mm, going to cause them some sort of harm, pain, or disturbance in some way, all right? But Spirit is saying, okay, this is a contract of yours that you're meant to fulfill Something that you're meant to do in order to uh, nurture or inspire or heal the community, help the community transcend. Okay. So I hope that this helps you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have grace.